Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the contingency duffel from Vertex. Let's get right into the first 30 second breakdown. That's where in the first 30 seconds, give or take, I give you guys my exact thoughts on this product before we get into the full review. That way you guys can either just stop watching because now you know exactly what I think about this or you can continue watching and see why I say those things. Uh, it actually helps me out a lot if you do continue watching just because it keeps the analytics and uh, does better for my channel. So with this bag, this thing is fantastic for those of you that like to travel uh, on small trips or you can take this on a bigger trip, depends how light you want to pack. Uh, me and Kayla take this on our weekend trips. Uh, we put all of our clothes, everything that we need in one bag and it's really nice it's handy it's all low profile it looks really sharp and i'm able to keep my rifle in here as well i can keep a 10 and a half inch ar-15 in this which is a big benefit for me uh, being able to keep this hidden and not have to have it out in the open so i can keep that in there now i also use this for school obviously i don't keep the rifle in it with that but this is the backpack that i use taking to school because i have to do pt so i put all my pt clothes in here i put snacks throughout the day because i like to snack on stuff i got multiple books duty belt and things like that everything gets fit in here and i'm able to keep everything in one backpack without having to carry two or three or have things all unorganized i keep everything organized in one bag so if you guys do a lot of traveling like weekend trips shorter trips uh, i probably won't take this on a big trip like a big family week vacation uh, because uh, we usually just use a suitcase and we can put everything in there i don't think i'd be able to fit absolutely everything in this uh, but for weekend trips or smaller trips that's just like you and your wife it's absolutely perfect for that and i think it works out really well and like, like i said for school and stuff if you guys have a bunch of clothes and books and everything you want to keep organized this does really good for that now let's get into my relationship with Vertex. Uh, they did send this to me. I did not spend my own money on it. Uh, I've been a long time customer of theirs. I've bought, purchased most of these bags. They did send me some of these as well, uh, but I have really liked their products previous to working with them. And it's really cool to now work with them because I've already used and trusted their products. And now I get to work with them and that is pretty cool. So I really appreciate them for sending these bags out. So now let's get right into the review. So uh, like I said, in all of my bag reviews, I'm not a professional bag maker. I'm not a professional bag reviewer. Uh, all I can do is get a bag, I use it, and then I can tell you exactly what I think. And then what I like to do is show you guys every bit and piece of this close up so you guys can see exactly what you're getting. Because usually before I wanna purchase something, I watch a review or pictures to see how everything looks, what people think. So I'm gonna give you guys a bunch of shots of everything. Some of it might be too much and you don't care about every little stitch, but I try to show you absolutely everything about the bag. So when you do get this, or you do decide if you want to purchase it, you're knowing exactly what you're getting. Uh, so I don't like to do a bunch of zipping and unzipping. I just do B-roll to show you that because it might get into the mic and get a little bit annoying. Uh, nothing more annoying than watching a video and somebody's zipping stuff and then you can't hear anything they're saying. So we'll slowly go through this bag and take a look at all the other pouches and packs and then we'll go over some pros and cons. So first, let's just take a look at the outside of this bag. One thing that Vertex does really well is making their bags very discreet, not uh, it's standing out very much. You've got bags like this that don't scream. I'm a tactical bag. This is one of their older ones. As you can see here, it has Vertex written on it. It looks a little bit more tactical. Um, and then these other ones all look uh, very stylish, very modern, very not like it's a bag that's gonna carry a firearm. And a lot of the people that are gonna be buying these bags are doing that for the purpose to be able to have a firearm some way in these bags. That's kind of what their main purpose are. I mean, if you don't wanna have a firearm, there's no problem with that. You can still use these bags just fine and still use them for anything else, honestly, without firearms. But one of the biggest benefits for people in the firearms industry that like these bags is because they have those pouches to be able to hide firearms in and to be able to keep it not so, hey, I'm, I'm carrying a firearm on me. You don't want, you really don't want people to know. It's something that you wanna have on you and use if you need to defend your life and your family's life, but it's not something that you want to present to people and say, hey, this is what I have. So that's why I really like bags like this and the design that Vertex is going with. The only really spots here on this Vertex bag is right here that shows their logo. Nothing says Vertex on it and the design itself, like the actual color of the bag is really, really cool. So they did a really good job at that. They have these removable straps here so you can wear this as a backpack if you want to. I've never really wore it like that. I usually just carry it like a duffel bag or I take these two straps here on the side and I'll carry it like this. But the straps are removable and you can just take those off. With any other Vertex bag like I've had, they've all been very durable. The longest one I've had for about three years, maybe a little bit longer, maybe going on four years at this point, and then the other ones have been about a year now. So uh, the, the quality, the durability has been really good. This one has probably been the most used frequently. Like I use this one every single day with school. The outside looks really good. Um, well, I lied to you. There is one spot here that says Vertex. Uh, that's actually the first time I've seen one of the newer styles say Vertex on all these other bags don't. Um, but that one does have a spot there. But the bottom is this. Um, it almost feels like a leathery 
type texture. I don't know the exact texture it is, but it feels nice. It's a little bit more durable for when you're laying it down on stuff. So you're putting it on the ground and uh, things like that. It's not going to get scuffed up and ripped. So it has a little bit more of a durable texture on the bottom of the bag. All right, so let's get right into the first pocket first. So you flip this down and as you can see, there are going to be three little pouches here for pens, flashlights, smaller tools like that. And then you've got a little bit larger pouches down here. And then you've got these large ones as well for uh, documents, paperwork, and then obviously any other things. You put socks in there, underwear, whatever you really want. And then you've got a little zipper here that has a clear mesh that you can kind of see through and you're able to put smaller stuff in that as well. I really like these clear mesh pockets that they make. Uh, I've had a couple other bags that have this and I really like the fact that you can see right through it and uh, you're able to see what you have in them. So this is a nice little admin pouch that you're able to uh, keep everything organized a little bit here in the front and it's easily accessible. So now let's take a look at these side pouches. So the first one here drops all the way down and that's because it has this access point here that you can put your firearm in. I'm able to put a 10.3 or 10.5 uh, AR pistol into that with no issues, fits perfectly, and it's really cool to be able to have something with that capacity in a bag like this. Uh, the first time that I used this, me and Kayla went to a hotel for a weekend just to get away from uh, the baby and be able to just spend some time together. And one thing that I wanted to have was body armor and a rifle with me, especially because of what was going on at the time, uh, all the rioting and everything, and we were in a city. So I wanted to have that with me. And it was nice to be able to just throw that in here. I was able to keep my rifle in here, body armor. We had all of our clothes. I take my Xbox so we can watch movies together. And everything was able to fit in this bag with a rifle body armor. And that shocked me. And it was really cool. So uh, that was the first time I ever got to use this. And since then, I kind of fell in love with this bag and started using it pretty much ever since. So you've got some Velcro in here so you can have something like this. You can stick it on there and uh, stays in there if you want. There's interior of that as well. So I do use these little pouches to be able to keep like pens, markers, uh, hygiene, things like that, first class and school. But this one just opens wide open and it gives you easy access to that pouch. Now, if you don't wanna put a firearm in this, you don't have to. You can still use these pouches for anything. It's a very large pouch to be able to put other things. Like I said, I, this is the one I put all my snacks into uh, when I'm in school. So I have a, an entire pouch here full of snacks and uh, you can co completely use this for anything that's not firearm related. So then to this other side here, and you're gonna notice you have this little arm kind of sticking out of this and that's where the rest of your firearm comes and sticks out so it does fit in there a little bit easier so you're going to have it poking out this way but it's not anything obnoxious it's not actually sticking out of the bag the way they designed it is really good to make this actually not scream i have a firearm in it so this is just the exact same pouch nothing special about it doesn't have the velcro on the inside on this one so it's just again another larger pouch this is one that i keep like ibuprofen um, and some other little things in here because uh, I get a headache going to school. So uh, keep some stuff in that one as well. So it's just another random pouch. It's pretty large and you're able to keep a pretty good amount of things. I actually put tennis shoes in there sometimes depending if I we're doing PT and what I need to change into. Now for the top pouch. So you can have it just like this to where you just have access to the top and you don't have to have it wide open. You can get access to things. It keeps its form really well. Or you can take these little clips off right here and right here and bear with me for a second because I am going to zip this. And that zips all the way down and then your bag opens up a ton more. So whatever you really want, you can do it that way. Uh, I usually leave the clips open just so I have it kind of a little more compressed and concealed and doesn't open up nearly as much. And, and when I'm trying to get into things, it doesn't just fillet open. So this way is a little bit better when you keep those clipped. But you have a very large pack on the inside here. So this is the 45 liter. They also do have an 85 liter as well if you want something bigger, if this is too small for you. So that's gonna be a personal preference on what you use and what you want. So you got a couple more of these see-through pouches on the inside with zipper so you can keep things in there, see what you have and keep it zipped up so it doesn't get shaken around. Then you have a large compartment here in the middle. You have this harder formed piece here that keeps this actually um, in a square shape. And then you do have some Velcro that I use. I always keep my hygiene in this one. And then I also keep my pens and uh, other things there as well. So I have access to all that and it's just stuck to the side so it doesn't have to get lost in all the books and everything that I got thrown in there. Another cool little feature that is added to this is if you are carrying a firearm and you ever need to disassemble it or whatnot or what you're doing, I don't, I don't know. Maybe you're just field stripping your AR for no reason at all. Uh, you can lay this out and you almost have a mat. So you'll have like a cleaning mat. You can really do anything on this. I mean, you can eat dinner on this if you want to. It's just a nice little area space that's not on the ground. You can open this up and have access to, and it's on the top of your bag. So nothing's usually ever touching it. So it's a pretty clean and a nice spot to have that on there. And then with the piece right here, the reason it has these bends to it, and I was always kind of confused with that, is you're able to bend that in, fold everything kind of together here, and then bring that up like that, 
and then everything is really compressed small. You can obviously flatten it down a little bit more and you can put it under a seat and you can just store it a little bit easier that way. So, so that's just a cool little feature there, having everything a little bit more compressed if you're not using this. So is this something I would recommend and spend my own money on? Uh, yes, I definitely would recommend this. I recommend a lot of Vertex bag to people, especially those that want to be able to have a firearm accessible quickly, easily, but still be able to have it concealed and not really uh, out there saying, hey, I have a firearm on me. I think uh, Vertex does a really good job at listening to customers. Uh, their first line uh, was really good. It worked for what I needed, but when they started listening and changing their colors, the things like this and these that make them not look nearly as tactical, uh, I think their customer base was really happy with that. So it's nice to see that they listen to things like that and uh, it's good to see that they're constantly evolving and making different things. This is probably one of my favorites so far. Uh, I've got a couple more um, in the truck, Kayla's car, and down in the basement. I really like their stuff and I'm gonna continue to be getting, uh, hopefully receiving some and I'll be buying some more as well. And uh, I'll be trying to do a review on as many as possible. So would I spend my own money on it? Absolutely. Uh, like I said, I've purchased a lot of their products previously to working with them and I continue to purchase things from them. And I definitely will in the future buy more and I would definitely spend my own money on this one as well. I really wanna get the 85 liter one because I think it'd be cool to have an even bigger one because I think that would be good for like week long trips to where this one I think it's more of a weekend bag. I think that one's gonna be more versed for like your, your week long trips with the family and things like that. So I would like to get that one, compare the two and see the differences. But other than that, I really like this bag. Definitely recommend them. Uh, if you guys want to save 25% off, which is a huge discount. So thank you for Vertex for giving this to me for you guys. I uh, use code tactical visor. If you're looking at about $160, I believe for this one, and then about $200 for the 85 liter one. So they usually are pretty expensive, but with that 25% off, it really helps drop that down and it helps save you guys a lot of money. So uh, if you guys are interested in these bags, check them out, check out their website and uh, definitely use that discount code to help save you guys some money. If there's a specific bag that you guys want to see reviewed, let me know. I'll either purchase it or talk to Vertex and see about getting one for you guys to do a review on. I like doing these bag reviews. They usually do really well and you guys seem to receive them really well. If there's any way you guys want me to do some things differently, someone actually commented on my last video. They're like, hey, uh, I noticed you don't wear the bags. Like, it would be nice to see if you like wear the bag to see what it looks like. And I never thought about it, but why wouldn't I, in a bag review, wear the bag and show you what it looks like? Uh, something like this, obviously I'm not going to, it's not really meant for wearing, but when I did this video and this video, I never wore the thing. So uh, thank you for whoever mentioned that. So I will definitely start doing that in my bag reviews, actually wearing the bag. So if there's anything you guys notice in the, view, the reviews that you want to see different, or it's a little bit goofy, like why did you do that? Uh, just let me know, put it in the comments and, and I'll make an update or change and try to make the be videos better for you guys. Because the whole end goal is to be able to make these videos so you guys can see everything that you guys want and to make a better purchase in the end. Uh, I'll try to give you guys my recommendation. I always give you my honest recommendation on what I use and what I trust. I don't promote things that I don't use myself personally. And uh, I wanna be able to help you guys spend your own money better. Cause I remember previously to all this and making reviews and everything, I would always look at videos and stuff like that. And that's why I do the 30 second breakdown cause I hated watching 11 minute videos and never get to an actual point on what I want to see. Um, so I try to improve my videos weekly so it's actually better for you guys in the end. So if there's anything that you guys see that could improve it, make it better, things that I could take away that don't need to be in them, let me know and uh, I'll try to do that. Uh, here at the end, this is where I always basically talk about random stuff with the page. Again, so if you guys have already seen the review, if you don't care about what's going on in my page and with my life, uh, you guys can carry on. Appreciate to you that actually stay though and uh, that care, it, it, <laughs> it means a lot to me. So uh, a lot of things are going on. Uh, school is absolutely crazy, I'm about a month and a half in and that's every day for the most part, especially this month has been, been nuts. So been very busy, uh, work's been good and things have just been pretty crazy with Tactical Advisor. Very busy, I got a lot of products coming. Uh, COVID's really messed a lot of things up and uh, thank you to all the companies that have been really patient with me because uh, getting ammo to do testing and things have just been horrible. Uh, it's been very expensive. So if you guys wanna help out the page, things I do here, there's a couple ways to do that down in the comments or down in the description. There's Patreon and there's a link to my website from there. There's links to other websites that like Cloud Defensive, I can't talk, Cloud Defensive, Brownells, other places like that. Anything you purchase using those links gives me a small kickback and shows those companies that I'm generating flow, which is always a good thing and helps me be able to get more products for you guys. Uh, so again, thank you guys all so much. Another really big sponsor and uh, Someone that supports me a ton is Howitzer. Absolutely love their clothing. I'm gonna be doing a collaboration with them here soon. I'm gonna be doing my own run of t-shirts. I'm really excited about that. So if you guys are interested in my t-shirts, put in the comments down below. Let me know if you guys would be interested in purchasing the t-shirt. Um, I'm working on design right now and I'll be sending it to them and we'll be uh, getting all that figured out. So really excited. And thank you guys all for being here. Again, any other bags you guys wanna see reviews on? I like doing these bag reviews. I hope they are helpful and I appreciate you all. Thank you.